Hello, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to discuss about the Lisp programming language and its dialect that is called AutoLisp, which is uh, a dialect that has been created specifically for AutoCAD and its derivatives. And with this language, we can create our own custom functions. The first part that we need to do is to explain some basics about how AutoLisp works. As we said, AutoLisp is a dialect of Lisp programming language and Lisp comes from Lisp processing. The information that I have here will also be attached in the description and it comes from the Autodesk official website. AutoLisp is generally quite easy for non-programmers as it has a built-in interpreter in AutoCAD that runs the code, so it doesn't need a compiler. We can either run the expressions directly from the command line or by loading and uh, loading an LSP file that contains code written simply in notebook. We don't need to use Microsoft Word or any other text editor. Notebook will work just fine. And AutoLisp syntax dictates that everything is contained within a set of parentheses. That's one of the basic rules of how we can create custom functions and write the code in AutoLisp. Among others, these are some basic functions. The first one we can discuss about is dfun, which combines multiple expressions in a new command. setvar is used to set a new value while a command is in progress. And setQ sets the value of a symbol or symbols to associated expressions. What is important at this stage is to be able to open the text editor at a very simple custom command, load it in AutoCAD and see how it behaves. So let's see how that goes. So we're going ahead and we're opening one random drawing. What matters is that we're going to explain how a function, a custom function that we have taken again from Autodesk official website is going to be loaded in AutoCAD 2023 environment. And we're going to show how to do that. This is a very simple command custom command that has been named cleaner. So define is the expression that we've discussed about earlier. So with define, we can create our custom command. And cleaner is the name of it. So below the name, we can see the first command, and that command that's going to be executed within the whole new custom command is called audit. We know that generally we use the audit and purge in order to clean up our drawings. So if we see what audit does, we can press quickly here and we see that AutoCAD is asking if it is to fix any errors detected. So it either takes an answer of yes or no. So our custom command here has the yes answer. So if we type this, we can see that it erased zero objects, but everything has been audited. And then the next command is the command purge. If we go ahead and we can press all. And here we can press enter and no in order to not verify each name to be purged. And we see that this drawing is quite clean. So there is nothing that has been found. However, we are explaining how this command goes and we see again that command purge is run and it takes the arguments R, nil, and N. So we see R are the reg gaps. We're pressing nothing here and N again. And now we see that nothing has been found because, as we said again, the drawing is clean, but we show the procedure. And the next one is the overkill. And it takes the arguments of all, nil and nil, and we go for the overkill command, press all as in arguments, picked up everything, and we press enter here, and done. We can see that there are no duplicates or any other overlapping objects deleted, because as we said, this drawing is quite clean. So let's go ahead and see how we can load this cleaner custom command and how we can be able to run it in just by typing cleaner or anything else we want. At this stage, we call it cleaner. 
So the first thing that we need to do is type upload, not upload with UP, but with A double P. So we need to find where our Lisp file is located. And we found it here. So we load the cleaner file. That's a security message that we get from AutoCAD. And it's good that it's asking, you know, the publisher of this file could not be verified. At this point, I'm gonna type, I'm gonna press the load once option and we see that here cleaner lsp which is our list file successfully loaded if we want to have this lisp file loaded every time we're opening autocad not just one not just once as we have it here we have to go here in the startup suite and we have to go to comment to contents sorry and go to add and here we have we can add it permanently, close it, and close. So at this point, if we type the cleaner command, it didn't do anything. Oh, it did. We can see that all the information, all the commands that we just explained earlier have been executed one by one so we see the purge command we see the overkill and above actually we have the first purge so it's a powerful way to automate your tasks if you find yourself that you're using a combination of commands you can create your own lisp file and make your own command that's gonna save you some time if you use autocad professionally obviously this might save you a lot of time and money a useful thing to show would be how to create a list file through a text document that's quite simply so we press right click we press new text document and we call this test file and what we need to do is change the extension of the file to lsp that's going to change it to a file that autocad recognizes and here we can paste our code or write our own code we we'll make a few other videos about how to create some custom functions and potentially we can see how we can utilize the latest tools the technology has given us in order to make powerful functions for that so that's it at this video if you like the video please press like subscribe and of course comment anything that you might be having as a question or anything you'd like to discuss regarding this video or any other videos until the next time